The next thing we're going to do is create assignments. So you're going to have to turn editing on, and that's in the upper right corner. This is a toggle, so once you turn it on, you can uh, you can just log out, close the window when you're done, or you could turn editing off if you want to, but just make sure editing is on. That gives this little edit menu next to everything over here. I'm going to put the first assignment into the first week. I recommend you put the assignment in the appropriate week. What we're going to click on is add activity or resource here. The first one on the list is assignment and then add. There's only three things that you need here. You need a name. I'll just call it quiz one. If you're doing these on paper, you don't need a description because the paper quiz will have the description of what's on your quiz. Uh, but it is important that you put a name that distinguishes this from the other quizzes or the other assignments. You do need a due date. That's the only one I recommend you have. So I'm going to go ahead and use the date picker here. I'll just have this due uh, September 28th. All right, this time does need to be set to, uh, well, you can set it to whenever you want, but I strongly recommend you put it to be 11.59 p.m. on that date, so it's the end of the day. Uh, you can put a different time if you want. I'm taking off or disabling the other reminders, and this lets you cut off submissions. Uh, you don't really need to change in any of the other options, except you may want to change the defaults is 100 points which works if you're a percentage grader or if your assignment is 100 points, but feel free to change the maximum grade anything you want. And I'm not gonna go over the different types of grades, we're just gonna go use points here. And make sure you hit uh, save. I'm gonna go save and return to course. And this should put it in week one. So I'm gonna open all the weeks here. Oh, and apparently that's not working, so I'll just open up this way. So you look at quiz one, what I'm gonna do, I want a second quiz, so I'm gonna duplicate quiz one. It's gonna call it quiz one copy, and I'm gonna call this quiz two, and then enter. And this lets me drag it into week two. That does not change the date. We're gonna look and see how to change the date later. So I'm gonna duplicate again. It's on the edit menu, rename, Enter, and then drag that down into the next week. All right. So now we got three quizzes, and you could make as many quizzes as you want. You can change the name to something else, and you can change the point value as well. I'm going to show you a fast way to change dates.